This is the time of the year when I find myself with quite a bit of butternut squash. And there are many ways we can eat butternut squash, but this is probably my favorite. I came up with this recipe after several attempts. It is a gluten-free, low-sugar, high-protein cake. It's an excellent snack for the middle of the afternoon. I hope you enjoy it. What will you need? You will need one small butternut squash, two cups of oats, two tablespoons of chocolate powder, three tablespoons of sugar, a half tablespoon of baking powder, fourth of a cup of oil, half cup of water, and four eggs. The first step in the process is to dice the butternut squash. Then we put it in the microwave for six minutes. While we're doing this, we measure all the solids and put them in the food processor. At this point, you should also preheat your oven to 350 Fahrenheit. Here I am adding a tablespoon of cinnamon that I forgot to list in the list of ingredients, so take note of that. Now we grind everything in the food processor to a consistency of a flour. Everything should be homogeneous and well mixed. It's about this time that my butternut squash is ready in the microwave. I pull it out with an oven mitt because it's going to be really hot. Now we incorporate the oil, the water, the eggs, the butternut squash, and we mix it in the food processor. While this is happening, we oil a pan to prepare it for the oven. We wait until the mix is completely homogeneous and then we transfer the mix onto the pan. Now we bake it for 16 to 18 minutes until the cake passes the toothpick test. If you decide to make this cake, please let us know in the comment below. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Until the next time, this is Jose.